Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two with the fabulous Bill Jordan. Art and I always look forward to seeing you, Bill. Always be always excited to be described as fabulous. I can't get <laughs> enough of it. Yeah, well, Hard to live I'm, up to. You know, Bill, this, you look like you have a new look. You have a, a cap on that, that doesn't, it's not frayed. You have what appears to be a, a lumber, lumberjack kind of shirt on. This is a flannel shirt. I, kinda, I, would, you know, I don't know. People tend huh? to settle. I think as we hmm. get older, you know, we settle into this look <clears throat> of a particular look. And I was known for a long time. I get I get razzed all the time from friends and family about, you know, the cargo pants, cargo shorts, camp shirts, untuck this, untuck huh. that. And for whatever reason, this past summer... I kind of got away from that. I don't know why. I just kind of got away from that, more into the jeans, and I was really relishing the, the idea of cooler weather coming, and I went on this flannel shirt buying kick. Wow. Like a flannel shirt fetish of sorts to where it's like I can't get enough of them, and I've got plenty, uh, but I love them. And so now I've sort of I've coined the 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 notion of this is my new look, and I call it the hallmark hermit look and <laughs> because you know hallmark movies typically have the girl is going with this you know three-piece suited high-powered big city lawyer engineer something and she'll run into this guy in a little town but he's wearing a flannel shirt almost always wearing a flannel yeah. shirt and she'll introduce the new flannel shirt guy to the high-powered boyfriend as the new flannel shirt guy. Well, he's just a friend. Yes. And we all laugh at that because we know that's that's never the case. <laughs> but 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 this is I'm older, so this is the the Hallmark hermit look. So I go with a lot of jeans or work pants, uh, work boots or or hiking shoes, and then a flannel shirt, a cap, and I'm the Hallmark hermit because I'm obviously I'm too old to play the lead in that. But I'm the I'm the old guy that lives down the lane. Yes. Is how I played in my head. That everybody tries to avoid because you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> so I'm yeah. I'm that guy that I may give a I may give you a little bit of pearl of wisdom, or I may just kind of blow you off and tell you to get off my lawn. You know, I'm going to be a little too late for this, but uh, I uh, I just came back from a run to Costco the other day, and they had this amazing display of. Uh, Fabulous. Uh, flannel shirts. Ah. Fabulous. Yeah. Is that is that yeah. one of your uh, haunts? I have I've uh, picked up two from Costco and ah. I'm willing to pick up a third. They've got one there that's the classic red and black checkered kind of lumberjack look. Mm -hmm. I've already got one by another maker, but I'm willing to donate that one to pick up a better one from Costco for 16 or 17 bucks. <laughs> so that's how sick, that's how deep into this I am. When you just start buying stuff to buy it, it's kind of like it's an old joke. Please don't be offended. It's it's a sexist joke. The old comedian Gallagher, you know, the 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 guy would smash the watermelons. The watermelons, and melons, yeah. dramatic. <clears throat> he did a line in comedy concert one year. It's like we saw him. He says, "Women don't even want all the shoes they buy. Women buy shoes to keep other women from having them." <laughs> and that's kind of the way. That's kind of the way I'm looking now at flannel shirts. I see that one. I want it. Ooh, I want that. So. Well, it, Bill, it's interesting that you changed your look because we do that. We change our looks w without realizing. I don't know when it was when I got my first Hawaiian shirt, but I all of a sudden I have to get more Hawaiian shirts. Now I've yep. got a closet full of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you're right about the flannel, by the way, because I've got my woolies. I call them my woolies on. I put all the uh, Hawaiian shirts into the storage closet in our garage for the winter closet and i pulled out all my woolies all my flannels mm. all my lumberjack patterns i love those plaids you know and it, it's the neat thing about that wardrobe change and, and i went through that hawaiian shirt thing up until i don't know maybe five years ago and then i got more into just the play the untucked and weren't so many hawaiian shirts uh and they also became like they all the, all you know Everybody, all the makers were making them so gigantic. I look at pictures of me now wearing a large, mm -hmm. where typically I'll wear a large shirt, and yeah. it's like a tent on me. So I donated a lot of those, like Tommy Bahamas and stuff. I just I just donated them. But the beauty in making that change 
from we we use an attic. So I'll take the spring and summer stuff up in bags and I'll bring the fall and winter stuff down in bags. And not only am I excited about the change in the wardrobe, but then there's also the knowledge of knowing I really don't have to shave my legs till next April. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a suggestion to Bill because it would it would disturb me greatly if you got rid of your cargo shorts because as I remember them, they have the certain tears in certain places, and you can't buy distressed uh, cargo right. shorts. You can't even get them at Goodwill because they won't even sell them. And you had them, you had them. They were like uh, famous in the southeast. You were known yes. for those. Yeah, and also too, you have some of your hats that were yes. frayed on the brim. Yes. And, yes. you know, that look may come back or you may want them and you won't be able to find them. You're going to have to create now, those new you can ones. Actually, Take a year. You can actually buy, you can buy caps that are frayed on oh, the really? brim. You can buy, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Art, you got, get yeah. with it, Art. Really? I know. I, yeah. I'm, I have four hats, including one Simon Brick Company hat. Uh, and uh, they're all in pretty pristine condition. I have one that I use to go to workouts and that's a little moldy, but I have another version of the same cap that's that's pristine. Uh, All right, this this conversation, by the yeah. way, as important as it is, pales in comparison to our next com co conversation, which is about the difference between a cap and a hat. There's a difference. Oh. There is a that's major next difference. Next time. Okay, and next time. You mean okay, we're going to we'll, we'll we're, we're going to wax poetic for an entire x number of minutes on just hats and caps, and and <laughs> will we use the word tam? In Excuse there at me, all? isn't that what we were just doing? Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway, I think that we should embrace change and embrace the hey, boom. You know what? That's what boomers do, guys. That's Thank it. You live your much. life, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom, my fellow baby boomers. God bless us all. Thanks, guys. I got to get back to shopping for flannel. It's a Costco run. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.